Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today um, we're going to place some trust. Okay, under this, this is a ramp. So we're going to place the trust uh, perpendicular to the ramp. Okay, so so first I'm going to just place one under um, here. Okay, so from here this point to I'll just use SE to snap this endpoint. So first one, no problem. So then, actually, when I place it, uh, I notice that uh, if I place uh, from here, as pay, and it goes down, it won't snap onto the uh, face, the surface of this ramp. It'll go down to ground level. So, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, we, we can't just manually to pick 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 so uh, what I'm going to do is go to maybe side plan and so with this one this trust just we just need to do a array AR array and then so use this one ray radio and then place or space bar it's the same space bar and then which means center of rotation, you need to pick center of rotation. So now you can type on a keyboard, type SC, snap center center point. So see if you click on this edge, it actually slap onto this point. Yeah. Then go here. Now I am going to snap endpoint SE, snap this endpoint. So because yeah, make sure you choose uh, uh pick this uh, last. Okay, so now we can snap another endpoint SA again so so now we can top in a number so for example um, 8 so and uh, so go back here so um, you, you will see they are all in the same plan so you can't really so move it down if you move it down it will tell you uh, no you can't do that so, so what we're going to do is we can ju we are just going to uh, un select all, select one of them, S A, select all, and ungroup, and then you can just go to elevation and then just manually, um, manually. So I can pick. Can I pick a point? Mm. Maybe M V. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't pick a point. Let's try elevation. So change this to median, and uh, see. Let's see if I can pick a point MV. Yep. So go down to. Then I can't pick. I can't really pick a point, but roughly, roughly. So I'll just move this down. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll just go back to 3D view so uh, and click on the left and then MA oh sorry MV yeah roughly move it down to the location but uh, um, or just to use the your keyboard so use shift and arrow or just arrows so then so this is the the first first method to place these trust it's not very accurate but uh, yeah it's quite a simple way to do it right so now I'm going to show you another way it's a little bit extra steps but uh, I'm not sure um yeah and you would you can tell me which one you prefer okay so so the next one I'm going to go uh, to a side plan okay so I'll just place a column structure column and I'll just move it uh, just place it here because I can't really snap onto the ramp and then select this column and V so pick the middle point and then move it to this end and this one MV to this end and then go back to 3D view so select these two uh, column and I try to attach top but uh, 
we can't do it to a ramp because this is a ramp um, so what we need is a floor so I'll just do a floor and use pick line and tap tap select this uh, the boundary of this ramp and finish it and then I want to lift this end so modify sub element click on this edge drag this up so now you can see they are exact same um, uh, height okay so escape finish it so now I can select this column this column attach top and pick this floor so now what I have now is the top point of these um, columns so which if I create a new trust CS and SE so you can see I can pick the top point of this column so I can't really pick this edge I can pick this uh, point but not the middle okay so now what we can do is go back to side plan select these two columns AR space SC and pick this endpoint SE pick this endpoint SE pick this endpoint top here number for number 8 so now go back to 3D view so we have all these columns I'll just select all ungroup and then escape and select all again select all the column attach top and click on the floor so now all these column will just um, stop at, at the bottom of this floor so which uh, now we have all the points we can pick so now I can select this trust CS SE 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 so yeah it's a little bit more steps and more and quite a more uh, depending on how much you need so it's all manual but uh, yeah but I know that uh, the point the level of these charts will be very accurate okay so now once you finish, if you don't want to see them, maybe you can just make it temporary or uh, yeah, and then you can just you show you can show previous and new, so you won't show the temporary stuff. So okay, so you can still um, yeah, if you want to adjust adjust some of them, you can even you can move the the column. And you will see the trust will follow it. Uh, that's that's fine. So yeah, sometimes when you change the height of the column, it the trust won't follow. So oh, it, oh sorry, it's, it's out of this uh, ramp. So if for example here the height change, and then you just need to drag it top SE back. So yeah, in case you want to change anything, but yeah um so that's it to two methods one's simply uh, array and uh, manually move the height the other ones use a little bit extra step uh, use floor and and column use floor and column to get the point for these charts okay so that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye